Hi, David Jack here, Superintendent of Fauquier County Public Schools with my fourth weekly video update. I did not do a video update last week as I was on a family vacation, but I'm back this week. The majority of the update this week uh, centers around uh, discussion and direction from the school board uh, at this past Monday's school board meeting. So I'm gonna be sharing some of that with you quickly. Um, so let me give you a little bit of background first. Um, the, the presentation I made to the school board on Monday was about 40 slides in length. It, it really could have been 400 slides in length. Um, there is, there's been so much information gathered, uh, disseminated, uh, considered, et cetera, et cetera. Um, the recommendation I ended up making to the school board was really based on input from uh, the state school board, the state superintendent's office, the governor's office, the Center for Disease Control, the Virginia Department of Health, our local epidemiologist, um, and I, I may be forgetting a, a, a group or two, but there, there was there's lots of information, recommendations that, that is being taken in, sort of digested. What's what's the ultimate goal for all of us, myself, school board staff, is First and foremost, student safety. How do, we, how do we ensure student safety? So that that was the driving force behind the recommendation I made to the school board. Now, the recommendation I made to the school board was for a mixed delivery instructional model to begin this fall. And again, I've just given you the, the sort of the, the minimal details, but you can you can go to the website to the school board section of the website, and I believe you can actually watch the stream of, of school board meeting from Monday for more details. So. Um, but my, rec my recommendation was for a mixed delivery model um, where by, it was, I'm calling it an AB model, whereby students in group A, for example, come to school Mondays and Tuesdays, and then are receiving uh, virtual instruction Thursdays and Fridays. And then group B students would be receiving virtual instruction Monday and Tuesday, and then receiving live instruction on Thursday and Friday. Okay. so. Basically, 50% of the kids are in school at any given time. Wednesdays is the anomaly. Wednesdays would be a planning day, a day for uh, teachers to have office hours, regular office hours where students can connect with them, have questions answered. And then also we can use Wednesday, we would theoretically use Wednesday as a day to um, deep clean the school in preparation for students coming back. So that was my recommendation. And again, I'm just giving you a little a brief glimpse of it. There's a lot to it. Um, what the school board requested was more data and, a, and a, an additional option given to parents. The additional option being um, uh, an option to vote on being four days, a four day uh, school week where all students are coming to school for four days with that same break in the middle on Wednesdays uh, for deep cleaning, office hours, et cetera. So weeks broken up, the difference is that um, all students come Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. So they asked us to submit, resubmit a survey this week um, and uh, it, along with some, a few other adjustments, three other questions, six questions total, I believe, and then gather that information, share it back out with the board uh, on July 9th during a work session. And then we'll, there'll be more discussion and more evaluation at the July 13th school board meeting. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna be sending you a survey tonight it's a six question survey, it's very short. Uh, there's also a staff survey that will be going out. I, and I think, thanks to everyone, the first survey we sent out a couple of weeks ago had 5,800 parent responses and 85% um, um, of our staff also responded and that was very helpful. This next survey is a little different in a couple of respects. One is shorter, one is more specific. And second, it's a little bit more uh, personal. So. We've got one of the things we need to figure out moving forward is specifically how many parents are intending to keep their kids home and provide virtual instruction when faced with uh, multiple instructional models. So, in other words, one of the questions is, you know, how comfortable are you sending your child to school? Or would you, I'm not, I'm not mixing up the wording a little bit, but how comfortable are you sending your child to school if? your child's going two days a week or your child's going one day a week or your child's going every day. So we're going to, we're going to gather that information and, and figure out 
under which scenarios, how many kids would our, our parents intending to keep home? Because we are still going to be responsible for educating those kids. Okay, so we 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 uh, take that responsibility very seriously. It would be virtual in, that, in those cases. Um, but in order to do that, we're going to need names, schools, school locations, grade levels. We're going to need parents to include that information when they complete the survey. It's still anonymous. As we're, in other words, we're not going to be reporting it out to the school board uh, that, that specifically or to the public at all. We're using it for our purposes to figure out, all right, at Brumfield Elementary, it looks like we're going to have 30 kids who, whose parents prefer them to that they receive virtual instruction. We got it. We need that level of specificity in order to plan. And it's the same with transportation. There are questions in there about transportation. We have to create bus routes uh, potentially based on a limited number of students um, being able to ride the bus, assuming we, we will a mixed delivery, which we may not. But if we did have a mixed delivery model, um, we, had, we would have to limit the number of kids running the bus. So um, in order to plan those routes, we need to know specifically from parents names, grade levels, schools, uh, and that, that will take some time. But um, that's why, and it's the same with staff, same sorts of questions, and we, we, we will need a certain level of specificity, but rest assured that information will rest with us just as it would if you were doing an online registration, going through the online registration process. Uh, but we, we're going to need that specific information, specific data for planning purposes and moving forward. Um, last, I would say this. So anytime I do an update or any, on the heels of the school board presentation on Monday, you know, the answering of questions and the presenting of information always generates new questions. So it's, it's really impossible to sort of stay ahead of or anticipate a lot of the questions that we receive, but we need to receive them. So we're, we're happy to receive them and sort of digest them and, and, and consider them moving forward. Um, having said that, um, please please understand that um, there's still a lot of planning that needs to, to happen. We, we are still in the midst of planning and preparing. And I, I will just say this in, in closing that on Monday, I think there was a feeling that uh, maybe we sort of blindsided the school board or we, we surprised the school board, whatever. Well, we are under a time crunch and um, yeah, maybe in ordinary circumstances that may be accurate, but in our view, it was we, we need to get this thing planned and sewed up. And we were still, you know, as of last Thursday when the board pack went out, we were still, um, you know, digesting and, and uh, uh, analyzing data from the first survey. So these things take time, but we're going to be ready. And I'm going to leave you with that. We, we will be ready. Kids that need devices will get devices. We're in the middle midst of that planning as well. Kids who need to ride the bus to school will be able to ride the bus to school. Um, we will be ready for school to open. Right now, the date is uh, you know no earlier than August 19th. That's still the plan as of right now. Um, but we we intend to open on the 19th. But it's possible that we 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 might move that date out a week. I guess we'll have to wait and see what happens with the school board on July 9th and July. 13th. So uh, there's a lot going on, a lot, a lot of information, a lot of stuff to process. Um, thank you for your patience. Thank you for continuing to work with us, uh, to provide uh, uh, recommendations, opinions, concerns. You know that that never falls on deaf ears. Uh, it, may, it may mean that it's a, there's a delay in, in responding, or even in in some instances where we don't respond back to you, but. If I'm reading it and I'm seeing it, most likely I'm responding back to you. Um, but there still is a lot of work to do. So we're at nine minutes and 20 seconds. I'm going to shut up now. Uh, please feel free to reach out to me directly if you need more information. And uh, again, thank you very much for your patience and stay safe.